step back into the enchanting world of a 1967 cinematic gem that brought the legendary tale of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table to life. Camelot, directed by Joshua Logan, is a classic that has left an indelible mark on the film industry. This timeless movie, with its memorable characters and captivating storyline, has a unique way of resonating with viewers. But here's the kicker as you continue watching, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny anecdotes, shocking revelations, and moments that might just tug at your heartstrings. So stick around for the unexpected twists and turns. Now let's ponder on a couple of questions. Have you ever found inspiration in the world of Camelot? Perhaps the movie has influenced your life in a surprising way. Share your personal stories in the comments below and what makes Camelot endure through the years, becoming a symbol of the film industry. Reflect on the enduring qualities that have kept this classic alive in our hearts. Before we wrap up, we'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic film. Share your stories below and let's keep the magic of Camelot alive. So get ready for a journey filled with laughter, shock, and maybe a tear or two. Share your thoughts and memories. Step into the enchanting world of the 1967 cinematic masterpiece directed by Joshua Logan, where the legendary tale of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table comes to life. The movie, a classic that continues to stay with audiences today, has a timeless charm found in its memorable characters and captivating storyline. Brace yourself for a journey filled with laughter, surprising revelations, and moments that might pull at your heartstrings. The film's unique ability to evoke various emotions sets it apart, leaving a lasting impact on those who experience its magic. As you delve into this cinematic gem, be prepared for a ride with unexpected twists that have the power to influence and inspire. Share your personal stories about how the movie might have affected you. Camelot's enduring relevance lies in its ability to capture the essence of timeless themes such as love, honor, and the pursuit of noble ideals, ensuring it remains a symbol of cinematic excellence. Before we conclude, share your most treasured memory or personal experience related to this film. Let's keep the magic of this classic alive by reflecting on its impact. The movie's ability to transcend time and connect with viewers on a profound level speaks to its lasting significance in the world of cinema. Join us in celebrating the enduring magic of this cinematic journey, a timeless narrative that continues to inspire, entertain, and leave a lasting impression on the hearts of those who experience its enchantment. Share your thoughts and memories and let the influence of this movie live on. Vanessa Redgrave and her late brother, Corin Redgrave, had important roles in movies about the King Arthur story. Vanessa played Queen Guinevere in the 1967 film and Corin was Lord Cornwall in John Borman's Excalibur. Interestingly, Joshua Logan, who directed the 1967 movie, originally wanted Terence Stamp to be Lancelot. But Stamp said no, so they cast someone else for the role. One interesting thing about the film is Queen Guinevere's wedding dress. They made it from fishing nets, and the top part had small seashells. The train was decorated with hundreds of hand-sewn pumpkin seeds, showing how creative and resourceful the production was. These behind-the-scenes details give a peek into how much thought and effort went into making Camelot. The film not only tells the story of King Arthur, but also shows the hard work and creativity needed to bring the legendary tale to the big screen. In the world of filmmaking, the 1967 movie Camelot tells a tale not just about the legendary King Arthur, but also shares interesting behind-the-scenes stories. During a celebrity gathering, there was an unexpected incident where Richard Harris, who played King Arthur, threw a surprise punch at David Hemmings, causing shock among the cast. Vanessa Redgrave, who witnessed the scene, declared her reluctance to work with Harris again, creating an unexpected twist in the camaraderie among the actors. Richard Harris, known for his nonconformity, felt uncomfortable wearing the wig and heavy eyeshadow required for his role as King Arthur. He insisted on singing the musical numbers live rather than lip-syncing, which occasionally bothered Jack L. Warner, adding an unconventional atmosphere to the set. Amidst the dramatic moments in the film's production, a real-life romance blossomed. Vanessa Redgrave and Franco Nero, brought together by Camelot, eventually became parents. Their off-screen relationship continued in subsequent films, challenging societal norms, Despite their undeniable chemistry, they did not marry until 2006, showcasing a unique journey that echoed the complexities of the characters they portrayed. A peek behind the scenes reveals the meticulous creativity involved in bringing Camelot to life. 
Vanessa Redgrave's wedding dress made from fishing nets adorned with small seashells and a train embellished with hand-sewn pumpkin seeds exemplifies the resourcefulness and attention to detail in the production. Joshua Logan's initial choice for Lancelot, Terence Stamp's refusal, and the subsequent casting decision offer another layer to the choices shaping the film. Reflecting on the unconventional dynamics, unexpected romances, and the detailed work that fueled the making of Camelot, it becomes clear that this cinematic gem goes beyond the surface of a classic tale. It encapsulates the essence of resilience, creativity, and the unpredictability that defines both moviemaking and the legendary story of King Arthur. In bringing the legendary tale of King Arthur to the silver screen, director Joshua Logan sought to address perceived shortcomings from the successful Broadway musical adaptation. Logan critiqued Richard Burton's portrayal of King Arthur as distracted and absent-minded, while finding Julie Andrews too wholesome for the role of Guinevere, whom he envisioned as a true femme fatale. He emphasized the complexity of the character Lancelot, a Frenchman who crosses the channel to support Arthur's cause, describing him as a holy cad, a challenging role to play. During the casting process, Jan Waters interview Wood for the pivotal role of Guinevere, adding another layer to the behind-the-scenes decisions. The production faced numerous challenges, including the careful coordination of jousting stunts, the design of pliable and lightweight synthetic rubber armor for the knights, and the meticulous attention to period details down to Guinevere's bridal bouquet. Notable anecdotes from the film's production include Vanessa Redgrave's unconventional wedding dress made from fishing nets adorned with seashells and a train embellished with hand-sewn pumpkin seeds. The unexpected incident where Richard Harris, portraying King Arthur, threw a surprise punch at David Hemmings during a celebrity gathering created a dramatic twist in the camaraderie among the cast. Vanessa Redgrave and Franco Nero's off-screen romance, sparked by their roles in the film, resulted in a unique journey that challenged societal norms and eventually led to parenthood. In reflecting on the making of Camelot, it becomes apparent that the film delves beyond the surface of the classic Arthurian legend. The unconventional dynamics, unexpected romances, and the meticulous creativity involved in production contribute to the film's enduring allure. As the legendary tale unfolds on screen, the audience is treated to a nuanced exploration of resilience, creativity, and the unpredictable nature of both moviemaking and the Arthurian narrative. Joshua Logan, the director of Camelot, was captivated by Vanessa Redgrave's performance in Morgan, which led him to choose her for the role of Guinevere in the 1967 film adaptation. Redgrave's appeal convinced Logan to delay filming due to her commitment to the prime of Miss Jean Brody in London, causing studio head Jack L. Warner to express impatience, referring to Redgrave as a tall communist dame. However, Logan remained committed to his casting choices. Several actors, including Simon Oates, Michael Latimer, Robert Morris, and Nicholas Pennell, interview Wood for various night roles, contributing to the thorough casting process. Logan's intentional selection of Redgrave for Guinevere after seeing her in Morgan showcases the careful casting decisions made during the film's production. Behind-the-scenes incidents and unconventional choices also marked the production. An unexpected event involved Richard Harris, who played King Arthur, surprising David Hemmings with a punch at a celebrity gathering, adding an unforeseen dynamic to the cast's camaraderie. Vanessa Redgrave's wedding dress, made from fishing nets with seashell embellishments and a train adorned with hand-sewn pumpkin seeds, highlights the resourcefulness and attention to detail in the production. Interestingly, Joshua Logan initially wanted Terence Stamp for Lancelot, revealing the complexities of casting decisions. Stamp's refusal and the subsequent casting choice underscore the dynamic nature of filmmaking decisions. The film not only tells the story of King Arthur, but also emphasizes the unpredictability, resilience, and creativity inherent in the filmmaking process. Vanessa Redgrave and Franco Nero's off-screen romance, sparked by their roles in the film, contributes to a narrative that challenges societal norms and evolves into parenthood, showcasing the real-life consequences of cinematic endeavors. Considering these unconventional dynamics, unexpected romances, and meticulous creativity in production, it becomes evident that Camelot goes beyond a classic tale. It encapsulates the essence of resilience, creativity, and unpredictability, echoing both the art of moviemaking and the legendary story of King Arthur.